Hey guys, what's going on? Steven back again. So, should Scott Gimple be fired? That is the question. Now, there's a petition going on that's been gaining a lot of attention. I actually have the petition right here. Let me pull it up here for you. Oh, that's bright. All right, let me zoom in a little bit here for you. Let's see. Oop, there we go. Okay, a petition for Scott Gimple to be fired as showrunner for The Walking Dead. As you can see, it's at about 46,643 signatures out of 50,000. I'm sure if I refreshed it, it'd probably be higher than that. All right, so here we go. Scott M. Gimple is an American writer, producer, and showrunner for the television show The Walking Dead. Recently, Scott has decided to kill off the show's most pivotal character, Carl Grimes, son of the main character, Rick Grimes. The entire show has been a lead-up to showing Carl become the leader that his father is, maybe one day taking on the mantle himself. Actor Chandler Riggs even considered postponing his college education so he could work on the show after Gimple promised that he would be on the show for three more years. Chandler's dad, William Riggs, said in a Facebook post that was later pulled that Gimple fired his son two weeks before his 18th birthday, even though he promised the actor three more years of working on the show. He goes on to say that he never did trust Gimple or AMC and that his son did, making it especially heartbreaking for him to be fired. Chandler had been working on The Walking Dead since 2010, spending almost half of his life on the show. Gimple gave no explanation as to why Chandler was killed off other than that it was because of the story, and that it had nothing to do with personal, personal issues, but many speculate that the claim is false. Sorry, I'm still a little sick. Uh, Carl is still alive in the comic series and has gone on to play a pivotal role in every major conflict the group has faced. Some fans even speculate uh, that he would do this in the TV show, being the last survivor in the apocalypse. A lot of fans have taken to social media to express their uh, disagreement with Gimple's decision. Others have also expressed their feelings towards uh, his decision, calling for his immediate resignation. This petition is meant to bring uh, AMC TV into the spotlight and fire the Walking Dead showrunner Scott M. Gimple uh, for his actions and unfair treatment of the actor Chandler Riggs. So, now let me give um, my thoughts on this. All right, let's see. Where do I want to begin? Um, well, if let's just say this does go through, we'll just say. Um, I don't know how you'd be able to really bring back Carl. Because don't forget, filming ended back in November. I think it was like the day before Thanksgiving is when filming completely ended. Um, episode 16 is when it finished and everything like that. So I'm not exactly sure how you would bring him back, even if the petition does go through and everything. Um, you know, because obviously uh, we saw him got bit in episode 8. Episode 9, um, you know, whatever happens, if he turns, um, you know, whoever puts him down, um, you know, whether that be, you know, Rick shooting his own son in the head, or maybe Michonne does it, or someone, you know, how do you really fix that? I mean... I, I don't even know how you'd be able to fix that, you know, because the story's going to play out, and, you know, if this does pass and somehow, miraculously, Carl returns, I don't know how you would spin that entire story, unless, I don't, I don't even know, unless you spin something that, I don't know, maybe Rick was dreaming something happened, I, I, don't, I really don't know, but, um, yeah, I have no idea. Now, let me move on to the second part here, where it said, here we go, uh, that Gimple fired his son just two weeks before his 18th birthday. Now, wow, this is really bright. I gotta tone down my brightness on my monitors even more. Um, now, as for, we'll just say Gimple, uh, firing Chandler Riggs right before his 18th birthday. Now, I don't wanna attack him. I don't wanna defend him. But don't forget, Scott Gimple has bosses. He has to listen to, you know, the people at AMC, you know, the suits and ties and everything. So, we all know AMC is cheap. 
there's no question about it. Look at the horrible budget the show has. I mean, come on, it's between, I think last I heard in 2015 that the show only gets maybe somewhere between two and three million dollars per episode. Come on, that that's that's nothing. I mean, come on, look at Game of Thrones. They're getting ten million, or no, they're getting fifteen million per episode for this final season. And I think um, even Vikings has a bigger budget than The Walking Dead, which is kind of crazy. So we know AMC is completely cheap. Um, you know, I really think. Um, the show should be getting at least six million dollars per episode for a budget at least but um, Yeah, as for uh, you know Gimple firing him two weeks before his 18th birthday um, I wouldn't be surprised if you know like people have been saying you know contract renewals are coming up um, You know, I don't know if uh, Chandler already had his or if his was coming up um, I'm not exactly sure but um, you know I'm sure once he turned 18 possibly he'd end up making a lot more money so if they're paying him I don't know we'll just say twenty thousand dollars per episode and now that he's turning 18 he could start asking for hundred thousand dollars an episode Rick and Daryl are making like six hundred and fifty thousand dollars an episode so I think easily you know I don't know what you know his contract is but you know, if he started asking for $100,000 an episode, because he is Carl Grimes, you know, a very important character. He's not like he's just some, you know, oh, this is just Joe, you know, some kid, you know, this is Carl Grimes. Um, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if, you know, the guys at AMC said, you know, hey, kid's turning 18, he's going to want more money, or we're going to have to pay him more money. I don't know how that works. Um, so yeah, I mean, right now he hasn't been doing a whole lot of anything. You know, we're basically paying him whatever to walk around, hold Judith and stuff like that. And, you know, now we're going to have to pay him $100,000 to do the same thing. So, you know, who knows? They might have said, all right, you know what? No, we're not going to do this. Hey, Scott, you need to, uh, you need to ask the kid. I wouldn't be surprised if that's what happened. Because don't forget, the same thing also happened with Andrea way back in season three? Season three or season four? Um, yeah, the same thing happened with Andrea. Uh, she said she was going to, I don't know, come in and rescue Woodbury or something like that. I forget the whole storyline they had for her, but it was something along the lines of um, Andrea was supposed to come in or ride in to save Woodbury. Um, I guess she already bought a house down in Georgia and everything like that, and then they killed her off. Now, this was before, I believe, Scott Gimple took over as showrunner. I think he took over in the second half of season four? I think that's when he took over. I'm not 100% sure, but um, I believe that's what happened, um, you know, with Andrea. Sorry, I'm not feeling so well. Um, you know, so they basically did the same thing with her, you know, said, oh, yeah, we're going to have you ride into Woodbury and we're going to have you save Woodbury and everything like that. And, you know, she bought a house and then they just killed her off. So, again, that was right before Scott Gimple uh, was in charge of the show. So it's making me think that it was, you know, the powers that be, the people behind the curtain, AMC making these decisions and, you know, whoever's in charge of, you know, that saying, all right. Yep, we're not going to go with the kid anymore. Uh, he's turning 18. He wants more money, or he's probably going to want more money. Uh, can't have it. Hey, Scott, you need to ask the kid. I honestly think that is probably what happened. Because, you know, like I said, uh, Scott has bosses that he needs to listen to. So if they told him, you know, hey, ask the kid, he has to ask the kid. Now, last thing I want to get to, because I'm really rambling on here, is if this does go through, if Scott Gimple is fired as showrunner and they bring in someone else, you gotta be careful because from the lawsuit, we know that AMC does not have to follow the comic at all. They don't. Um, you know, from all the lawsuits and everything like that with um, Frank Darabont and stuff like that, um, yeah, AMC does not have to follow the comic 
if they don't want to. So if they bring in a new writer and, you know, for season nine and, you know, this writer says, oh, yeah, I don't, I don't like these whispers. Um, you know, I don't like that. I'm not going to do them at all. Okay. He doesn't have to. Or that per that writer does not have to follow the comics if he, if they don't want to. Uh, if that writer decides, you know, hey, let's um, you know, let's leave Alexandria and head to Florida. Okay, they can do it. They don't need to follow the comic at all. The only reason they do follow it, for the most part, um, is because Scott Gimple is a fan of the comics. So that's why we get, you know, granted, yes they do deviate here and there and stuff like that because honestly who would want to see a oh look this is what's going to happen next and this is what's going to happen next this one's this person's going to die right here and then this happens and then this happens nobody really wants to see that but scott has given us you know a lot of the big iconic moments um no way out you know with the walkers and stuff like that uh negan killing glenn um uh, I'm drawing a blank. Um, the bombing of Alexandria. Um, I forget. I really don't remember when he took over from the show. You know, so basically, like, some of the things with the governor, because I think he took over during the governor, or halfway through the governor, I believe. So, you know, while, yes, the show has deviated here and there, um, you know, he has still given us the big iconic moments from the, from the comics, which is good, but um, yeah, I mean, if he does get fired and someone else gets brought in, we might not see any of that. There might be no whispers. There might be no NWO. There might be no anything. Could be a whole different story with nothing to do with the comics. So just be careful what you ask for. That's all I got to say. But anyways, uh, sorry I'm rambling on here. Um, yeah, so um, just let me know what you guys think. But anyways, if you guys like the video, feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It'd be awesome. Remember, you can always feel free to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description box below. And of course, leave me your thoughts and comments. What do you guys think? Uh, do you think Scott should be fired or, um, or not? Do you think that it was really Scott's decision to fire Chandler Riggs? Or do you think it was, you know... The wizard behind the curtains, you know, the, the suits and ties of AMC made the call, and then they just kind of told Scott, ask the kid. Let me know what you guys think, and, um, and yeah, just stick around. More videos are on the way, and I will see you guys next time.